Yeah, well guys, so today I'll just show you how to iterate through um, your string and print each character. So first things first, you know, create your string, set up your, your skeletal system. And this is uh, my main function. Now in the main function, we move, we point the SI register to the string, uh, the, the string variable, which is my string, right? And then to print a character of that string, we need to know its index, right? So if I wanted to print, um, say, this character here, I need to know its index. And to do that, you just count um, one, I mean, you start off at zero, it's zero, one, two, three, four. So that's the fourth index. And we move to the DL register SI plus four. Right. And then you call the print function, the print uh, character function, um, I believe it's two hex. Then interrupt. Sorry. So next, then exit the program. Okay. So let's compile our com compile our script. Then we run it, and there you have it. You print O, and so you you could. You could just um, print, you know, repeat this process, right? You print the first character, and then you repeat the process, the next character plus one, and then the, the following character plus two, and so on and so on. But that's, that's tedious. So there's a short, um, more efficient method to this, which is using loops. And the way we do that is, first off, let me um, create a that's a function. Let's just call it display. And paste it. Okay. So the way we're going to loop through the whole string is we need to know how many characters are, are within the string. And to know that, you just count everything and uh, the string contains 12 characters. Uh, so you, sorry, let's just remove that. We use the CX register that keeps tracks of um, the number of iterations we'll use. Then we'll create a function. Let's just call it L1. And then in this function, we move the the character that the source index register is pointing to and then we move that that character to the DL register and then we call display call display right we print that character and then after printing that character we increment SI the source index so by incrementing so if if source index um, points to this character and then we increment it'll point to this character and then after incrementing again it'll point point to this character and so on and so on and now to have this um, function loop you just call, use um, call loop 
and call that that function. Um, oh. Okay, there it is. I oh, know, no, that's the, the mistake. Yeah, should be fine now. So function L1 will be called 12 times, right? We'll, we'll iterate 12 times um, um, through this, um, this string. And then after the 12th iteration, we'll move on to this interrupt and which will um, exit the program. And then I think, oh, so I forget to return. There we go. So hopefully everything works. Yeah, there it is. Um, hello world has been printed. The whole, the whole string. And then yeah, if you wanted to just print up on the first um, word, one, two, three, four, five. That's just five. So you just take five there. Compile, run, hello. And that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope uh, you found this. Hope you learned something from this.